Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tom's the Tank Engine related video. Today for you I have a piece of rolling stock that's from one of my favorite episodes of the classic Tom's the Tank Engine TV series. This is the Chinese Dragon car. I'll just call it that, but really it's just a flatbed with a Chinese Dragon on it. Once Lego uh, came out with and distributed worldwide the uh, Lion New Year's set, I believe, or Year of the Lion. I, I can't exactly remember its title, but once that came out, I looked at it, I'm like, that's it. I can build this piece of rolling stock from this episode. And as a kid, it was one of my favorite episodes. I think it's even on like a hol the holiday Halloween disc. So it's always fun to watch. It's always been one of my favorites to rewatch. <clears throat> so today for you, I thought I'd share this build. I've had it built for a while now. If you follow me on Instagram, I probably shared this build a... Uh, months ago, probably almost half a year ago, and I just haven't had time to get around to record it, um, and mainly that's because I've had other builds or other projects I want to share and finish, such as the Gordon model, the Henry model, um, and then Star Wars stuff. Many people, if you're new to my channel, I'm primarily Star Wars. I was originally Star Wars and Star Wars only. I branched out a little bit just so I can keep my uh, creative ideas flowing, and I still have my passion for Lego, and well, let's just get into the model. So right away, as I said, the uh, Lion set, the Chinese Lion set, really pushed me to build this. It's really the only thing that pushed me to build this set. And you can tell that by, obviously, the parts I use for the dragon. Now the head, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some arguments here and there. Um, obviously without comments right now, not so much. But I know that I was going to, if, you know, I post something again on my Instagram or somewhere else... I'm sure some people can kind of put up the argument, eh, well, that's a Lego lion head, not the Lego chain, or dragon head, because we have seen the dragon heads. Um, and I full heartedly agree. However, from me right now, um, it was the easiest one to get with the colors I had, because at the end of the day, I was going to have to use pretty much these colors due to some of the uh, primarily printed bricks, such as the, you know, detail along the sides, on the forehead, um, the mouth. Uh, using that kind of those teeth I really like that so I was already limited on my parts so I went ahead and kind of said you know what I think the idea is still going to come across I think those well like if you put it next to Thomas or Percy you're going to totally understand what it is if you've seen the episode so that's what I did um, it is removable I just have it attached by some jumper plates so I can kind of just pick it this up it's really nice. I again, I bought two of those lion sets so I could extend out the torso. The back side's nothing crazy, and then the tail. I want to get the red line going along the top because that's. <laughs> I think that you know originally I didn't have that. I had some uh, making it a little thicker up top, but I didn't have the red going across. When I went back and looked at some images again, it was got a red line, so I'm like, okay, I have to get that in there. So I sacrificed kind of the height and the kind of flowing detail for this. Another detail I really was happy I could add in was this. Along the bottom there's always like those red streamers or I don't know the technical term for it. I'm just going to call them streamers. So that was kind of something once I was like, oh I got all these uh, red grill pieces which I actually stole from the uh, Chicago modular, the one building, the one red building. I stole it from there. And it was totally worth it, I think. I honestly feel it really brings out the model, especially if you're looking at it, you know, on a lower angle or even, like, eye level, minifigure level. It really looks great. You saw on the car, when I took it off briefly, I have the uh, kind of this wooden platform the dragon itself sits on. Excuse me. <clears throat> but, or not but, <laughs> it's in the show. It's actually lowered onto some wooden pilings or kind of a little wooden stand for it to sit on. Now I wanted to use my, I built up what I'm going to call my larger flatbeds and my smaller flatbeds. The larger flatbeds, if you watch the, uh, really any of the model era of Thomas and Friends or Thomas the Tank Engine Friends, you'll see it. It's the, you know, you always, it's all in like wood or bricks or some other form of lumber. And unfortunately the way the Dragon was designed, it didn't fit. So I went ahead, I had an extra kind of pre-framed uh, Lego train piece. So I went ahead and I just 
looked up at an image of it and I just made it fit along the car so I have these three kind of posts sticking up to keep the dragon from falling off either side and then I didn't tile everything completely you can see I left some studs showing here and there and then I used these curved pieces just to add some detail to it um, in a way it's not extremely accurate but in another way <clears throat> I think sacrificing a little bit of accuracy at least on the uh, you know the car the flatbed standpoint is okay since I think the primary focus is going to be this, and also I think going with the dark gray over the light gray really makes the dragon pop more. Um, but otherwise, I don't think you really want to see more about the car. The only di other thing I guess I can talk about is the buffer beam. Exactly the same as all my other ones, my standard buffer beam I'm using. But otherwise, that's going to be it. Yes, the tail does move. Um, I'm still kind of trying to find the position I like for it. Um, but yes, the tail does move. Otherwise, though, that really does include everything. I didn't go in detail on the head because if you own the um, Lion Dance set or if you have seen a review on it, it's the exact same head. Really, it's just the torso change and then the freight car around it. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, for those of you who love the Thomas videos, I really hope you enjoyed this. This is kind of one I didn't expect to do right away or at all, but um, being... Uh, Back then, when I did build it a couple months back, I just had the time to try something different and something new and kind of try to build this rounded 3D model <clears throat> that's not like a steam engine or a spaceship or, a, you know, whatever. It was really worth the challenge, for sure. For those of you who are, I know, my Star Wars fans, uh, I did put out a lot of Star Wars content. I think recently I several CAC reviews, a mock, a mini mock. I am going to have some more small or mini mocks of season seven siege of mandalore coming out i promise um but if you're just here for the thomas stuff i hope you enjoyed it i really hope uh this was <laughs> kind of something maybe you would never expect to see in lego but you really like seeing it and i hope too you know it does inspire other people to try and build something like this i'm sure there's someone out there who could totally beat me at this building this because i know there's people who build some killer dragons and i'd love to see someone who is a dragon builder you know, go online, research some images, take a look at this model I've done, and build their own. But I'm going to stop talking. Thank you all for watching so much. As always, in the description is my Instagram username and my email for YouTube if you want to get in contact with me or check out my other posts and photos and builds. Uh, but otherwise, like or dislike the video, let me know what you think of it. it tells me if I should keep doing these videos. I know the rolling stock videos are hit or miss. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you in my next video.